I think it's, it starts with, with what they're comfortable sharing, um, but also making sure that you, you project an open, um, an open attitude. Um, and I think that that's, that can be, that, that takes experience. It takes uh, practice really. Um, I think I, I, I liken it with, I worked a lot of jobs growing up. I had anything I had a curiosity about, I took a job and I worked in construction, worked at a motorcycle shop, uh, worked as a cook, sign painter, but did a bunch of different jobs. Well, one thing that I was really happy about that is I got to be around different kinds of people. And you can see one way of talking with one person isn't the same as talking with another person. You can sometimes see, notice that you, what you project can communicate how you're gonna receive. And that's important for a lot of, bro a lot of prospective brothers who are, might be a little apprehensive about whether or not they'd be accepted, uh, whether it be their sexual orientation, their ethnicity, uh, what, they, what they do for work, or what kind of lifestyle they have. I think those are things that, that it's not, we don't have a list of what you should and shouldn't do. I think it has more to do with who you are at your core. And so should those things matter? I don't think so. I think they, 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 um, they enhance who you are. The conversation you have and how open you are to that so that they feel welcome, that's where you get to learn. That's when you get to, to, to learn a perspective. Um, and yeah, of course, having the balance too of not being pushy about it or like jumping into someone's business and being like, who are you? What do you do? Tell me all about yourself. But just letting things kind of like learn how to let things go naturally. 